overheated brakes. This can happen at Pikes Peak in the Rocky Mountains a lot quicker than expected. From the summit at over 4,300 meters, it goes 30 kilometers downhill at a decline of 7%. That's why there's a mandatory brake check at Pikes Peak at which the temperature of the brakes is controlled. We've had cars that couldn't stop here and slid down the road and flipped upside down. So this is all about safety. We're trying to make this mountain as safe as possible. The temperature that we cut people off on is 300. Overheated brakes for the Audi e-tron prototype, unthinkable. In 90% of all cases, we only use the electric motor to brake. We recuperate and thereby decelerate the vehicle, using the friction brake only seldom. Therefore, we are very efficient. An efficiency that has left an impression to the rangers at Pikes Peak. All right, you guys are 48 degrees. The, the ground right now is 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and the warmest brake temperature down so far is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very impressive. Most cars don't get below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 52 degrees Fahrenheit, that's just 11 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, it should be noted that a lower temperature at the brake disc is associated with a lower performance. Of course, we recognized this during its development and created special brake discs and pads that perform very well at low temperatures. Thereby, we were able to develop a very safe and very efficient braking system. The innovative recuperation system in the Audi e-tron is therefore doubly efficient. On the one hand, it charges the battery via recuperation. For every kilometer driven at Pikes Peak, it allows approximately one additional kilometer in range. On the other hand, it protects the brakes and thus ensures greater safety even under the most extreme conditions.